Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we went and got the Master Sword, I think. It's been a long time, guys. I haven't recorded since maybe two months ago, maybe even longer. So, I'm not too in tune with this whole Let's Playing thing anymore, but I'm gonna get back to it. So... Fear not, I will be back on uh, on a roll soon enough. Now you may be noticing that I'm actually heading northeast instead of towards the Forsaken Fortress where we should be going, because now that we have the Master Sword, we can go kill Ganon, but I still have a, a couple more things I want to do before I confront Ganon, and that is primarily heading to the north part of the Great Sea. I wish I could show you on the map, but the gamepad is just a lot more comfortable for this type of gameplay. And the uh, the Pro Controller is just in general stiff. But this is the first thing we're going to be doing. We are going to be fighting a Great Octo, or a Big Octo, as they're officially called. And I don't know why I called it a Great Octo. Probably because I was thinking of Great Sea. Now, I would say that arrows are the easiest way to kill this guy, but definitely bombs are the most efficient, and they're also the most fun. I mean, look at him. He's just going... When you hit him, you just go... That's, a, that's my imitation of the sound he makes. And it's not a good one. I'm not saying it's a good one, because I know it's not a good one. Definitely not a good imitation. But he's almost done. So let's get him one more time. There we go. And now that we've beaten him, he will leave us a little treasure chest. Which is very thankful. Thank you, Big Octo. I appreciate that. Alright. So... Let's get in line to the treasure chest. Should be over it about now. There we go. And let's see what's inside. Now, I know I've been away for a long time, and you may have thought, well, he quit. I guess he's not putting videos out anymore. But that is completely untrue. It's just that I I get sidetracked a lot with things, and then I forget, and then I break promises, and I, uh, I don't know what to say, guys. But I should be back on track. I'm not going to make another promise, because, you know, why just make another promise if you know that you can't keep it? But I should be. From what I have experienced, now, until the end of this Let's Play, it should be smooth sailing from here. You get it? Because this is a sailing game? <laughs> yeah, that's going to get a lot of chuckles. Alright, so this guy's telling us about Big Octos. Not much anything too important. But now that we have seen this barely island. This is barely an island, so it's a barely island. We're gonna actually head west now. Towards... I believe it's called, uh, Crescent Isle? I believe that's what it is. And if it's not... Then, uh, I don't know what to say. It's gotta be the Crescent. But... Basically what we're gonna be doing there is we are going to be getting another treasure chest. Hopefully something with something really important in it. Probably actually I don't, I don't even know what's in this one. I completely forget. It's just on our way west so that's why I'm going there. Oh no, another one of these fishermen. What's you what are you going to tell us about? So 
Here's my route that I'm going on here. You can see it right there. You can see I'm gonna head west until I get to the Forsaken Fortress, which is that island in the top left. The moon is full. So when the moon's full, something scary happens here. Oh god, why did I get... <sighs> well, that's not too good, but, uh... Well, what can you do? Alright, so there is a treasure over here. Um, we're about over it. Alright, let's try it out. There we are! Okay. Now what's in this one? It's another piece of heart! Good, yay! Ha, <laughs> yeah! And now we will continue... West. Towards... I believe that is, uh... Wait, what's over there? I see a little boat in the distance. I don't think it's one of those bad ships. I think it's a sub. Yeah, it's a th it's a submarine. So let's go in there because well, why not? I mean, why wouldn't you go in there? It's all good sailings and stuff in here. It's always fun to go in the submarines, right? 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 You just can I make that? No, I cannot. That would have been cool if I could. But you better be ready for a for a butt raping after you kill that guy, because this is gonna be non-stop. Trust me. There's just gonna be like an unbelievable amount of flow incoming from these guys. There's just gonna be so many. There is going to be a lot, and I'll tell you how I know this. This is not going to lead to a heart piece, at least I don't believe it is. Um, I, this is actually a re-recording from my past attempt, um, where I made it all the way to the Forsaken Fortress, I beat it, and I did all that stuff, and I realized that the recording had been running at a, uh, at a frame rate that my editing software cannot you know, edit it at. So, I had to do it all over again. Yay, it's always fun. But, no, I should be, it's kind of like a little bit of a bittersweet ending because I didn't really, I didn't narrate the cutscenes very well. So, God damn it, I did the exact same thing last time. Oh man, he almost he almost got me right there. So let's go. Get the treasure chest. And inside is a treasure chart. Now I do not know what that leads to, but since I know it's not a piece of heart, I'm gonna assume it's some type of money. So we, yeah, the pickings are pretty slim when it comes to treasure. But anyways, now let's just continue heading west. Man, I haven't sung in my videos for a long time. Probably since, like, Metroid Prime. And that was only when I was in Magmore Caverns. So, I probably should not start singing it a lot again. Because it's just not going to work out. It never usually does. It never works out. <laughs> but anyways... Let's just talk about this guy. This guy's gonna say something a little more important than uh, the other ones, but still not that important to me nonetheless. So this guy's gonna say that uh, if I want to get into the cave, I'm gonna need to go five squares south and one square east. 
and then I'll reach Ice Ring Isle, and there I will find an item that makes me as heavy as stones, and that will stop me from being blown away by the winds. So that's actually pretty interesting right there. So that means we're definitely going to be coming back to that island again. Just like how we're going to be heading back to, uh, oh, man, I was just doing stuff on the uh, map. It was freaking me out, bruh. Freaking me out, bruh. But anyways, I'm just happy to be back now. I really am. Even though these, this is a re-recording, and I sound a little bit more monotone than I usually am. That's just because, I don't know, I can't make an excuse, an excuse for that one. I guess, uh, I'm just tired. I just woke up. So that, that'll be my excuse, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. So let's, what's this guy looking at? Ho, ho, ho. So that is how that works. What are you looking at? What are you looking at, bruh? What are There's a submarine over there. We're gonna have to go check that out. This is our adventure episode, where we're just adventuring, cause we're such hardcore guys and gals, right? 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 I don't even know where that started. That little right thing. It's just something me and my friends do at school. Like when someone wants like acceptance of what they've said they're just like right 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 and then we respond to them right 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 <laughs> and I know none of you guys will understand what I just I just made my point of but it's okay because it's a little inside joke for me to make my experience a little bit more enjoyable alright so now we have a bigger wallet that is great it is fantastic so we'll continue heading it looks like the uh, the forsaken fortress is in the distance over there but first we're gonna be wanting to head over to these guys I actually have never seen these guys before in my life not even in the past recording I didn't come to these guys but anyways let's get off let's grapple hook these bitches Grapple hook. Now go kill yourself. All right. I wonder what's in that submarine. Is it gonna be another treasure chart? Probably. But that's really, it's really the experience that matters, isn't it? It's just the experience of it all. That's what really matters. So let's go into the submarine. Oh, so I can like, I can jump from these, Whew. or should I say almost not jump from these, like that, Jesus Christ, go back, go back, go back, oh, that was really close, alright, this camera, camera, camera please. Jesus Christ, no! Up, 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 There we go. Alright, I've never been this bad at jumping on these things in my life. And right here, for some reason, I'm just really bad. Roll down on this. Alright. Swing, 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 no, I shouldn't do the double swing. They already killed two of their own? Make that three. The only reason the other guy's not dead is because there always has to be one left. So, swing! I'm just gonna go kill that guy and hope that a ladder comes down. Come on. 
All right, no, that it didn't work like that. Actually, I'm gonna open these things because of the skull necklaces. I really want those for something coming up later. All right, 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 right. No, no, this last one. That's really fortunate that they all had skull necklaces. I'm really happy about that. I really am. Can't you hear it in my voice? I'm really happy about that. But I, I am gonna say that I am really tired. So if you think I'm not playing my A game today, that's probably why. I mean, I, I did try to do the recording last night, and it kind of failed. Like, miserably. Like, they were passable recordings. I was all energetic and stuff. I was ready, and I was having fun. And then, like, it just, things got real with the fact that, you know, it didn't survive the recording process. And I just got sad, and I just went to bed like, I'm gonna have to do it again. Oh, that, that tricked me out for a minute. I was like, are you kidding me? There's nothing? <laughs> I thought there was nothing in here. Oh my god. I would have been pretty angry if that's if that was true. Another treasure chart. So that's gonna lead to more treasure we can get later, so good. Good. I'm happy. I'm actually really happy about that. Cause I think what I'm gonna do in the end is I'm gonna go around and rally up all the treasure charts that I have. And maybe even go get some more. Alright, so you see Forsaken Fortress over there, a little bit to the right of it is where we're going, that little flat p piece of land right there. Let me get some bait out, yes, there we go, and you can actually see another treasure right there, that's good, and a lot of bombs, Jesus Christ! Alright, so let me just go to the map. Sorry about this, but uh, I, I've, I've seemed to pass it. Go so right here, maybe? Yeah, there we go. And after this, we're only gonna have one more thing left to do on on this adventure, this episode. Wow, a, su a silver, a silver rupee. It's a silver rupee. Whoa. It's a silver rupee. Super, super cool. That's super cool. No, but let's just get onto the island. I'm going to... Throw a bomb. I believe it's this one that I have to open. There we go. And let's go down into the hole. Yay! All right. Now, come on. All right, that wasn't that wasn't really what I wanted to do, but okay. Maybe I can do what I wanted to do on you. Right there. There we go. Get wrecked. There we go. And now the rest come. Okay. Let me just Wow, I almost got hit by you. Too bad I didn't. No, I did. Just then. Alright. So, as you can see, the Master Sword is a lot more powerful. Like, physically, it... I think it's like double damage or something? It's one of those. It's like either double damage or 1.5 damage. But it's a lot better. Either way, it is a lot better. All right, let me go pick up that joy pendant. Please. Thank you. And then I'll get a skull necklace from one from both of you. Oh no. I still got hit, but that's okay. You know what would be actually pretty cool? I I would want to do a hero mode run of this. That would kind of be cool. And by kind of be cool, I mean I'd be pretty into that because I really like this game but I do have to agree that it is very easy and I've been playing a lot of hard modes on games lately just going around saying 
This game has a hard mode, I'll play that. Like, Metroid Prime, I played the... I think on the Wii version, it's called the uh, Hyper Mode. And that was really hard, but I enjoyed it. Like, I may have died twice, I think, on a game that I've been playing for about five years. And it's definitely one of my favorite games. I never thought I was going to die in that game ever again after that. Like, after I've been playing it that long. But, uh, Hyper Mode proved me wrong. And, actually, it was really fun. So, if I ever let's play Metroid Prime again, which, psst, it'll probably be soon, because I do want to actually start playing that trilogy. I do want to do the trilogy on, on my channel. So, I'll probably do it on Hyper Mode just to make it even more difficult for me. Alright, let's just get this guy one more last time. One more last time, yeah. Okay, Ryan. You're getting pretty crazy today. But anyways, this has been a 21 minute video. What is he gonna say? That is gonna be good to- Did I not get the- Oh my god, I didn't get the bait for the last island. And there's no reason for me to go back there. The arrow that can freeze anything. So, he just told us that there's an arrow that can freeze anything. So that's cool. But, um... Yeah, I said the e Wow, that almost hit me really hard. So I said I was almost done with the episode. Apparently I was wrong. Because I forgot to get the map data for, uh... I think it's Northern Fairy, Fairy Island, I believe. North Fairy Island. I guess I was too engrossed with that uh, submarine over there. So now I'll just have to go back and get the map data, and then we'll end it off. And then we will end it off. Alright. And now it's starting to rain. Wow. This is... No, I missed him. I was... I was watching the rain, I'm sorry. Can you, can you get it from over there? Um, yes, you can. Thank you. Boy, small fry, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't need to read that. I've already heard him like a million times. Northern Fairy Island, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Having a fun time every day, every day. The little shop master on Windfall Island apparently got his hands on a truly amazing treasure. He calls it magic armor, or something like that. It's a pretty cool magical relic, from what I've heard. If you want him to give it to you, try staring deep into his eyes and winning him over with flattery, Fry. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. I don't think so. That's all the info I've got. So... So... The guy with the... With the... Took the, the parka on Windfall Island. He is a, an ancient relic that may come and help later on in the game. So that'll be a side quest later on, actually. I don't mean to spoil anything, but it will probably be dedicated to one video. It's just that long of a side quest. So after that, I think this is a good time to say goodbye. So thanks for watching, and as I just said, goodbye.